technique for uh, bench setup, hand placement, good leg drive, in order to incorporate all the muscle groups, in order to execute the proper bench lift, okay? Uh, first thing we do is the setup. Uh, proper leg placement, where you're gonna actually be, get a good drive, whether you're gonna go on the ball to your feet, or you're gonna go flat foot. Okay, me personally, I prefer flat foot. I get a better, better leg drive uh, when I go flat foot. So you go from nice enough to set up. You look at the hand placement. You wanna put your hand where the palm, or the end of your palm, is where you get the meat, where the meat of the actual, your palm is able to push this weight in, all right? Get a nice, good, even grip on both sides. All right, set up. Nice, good arch. Pull it back. All right, one, two, three. All right, first things first, you wanna tuck your elbows to, to the floor, as such, all right? Belly up, get leg drop, straight up. Same technique, come down, tuck your elbows, clear them out. Boom. Main thing you do is when you're executing the lift, is to incorporate as many muscle groups as far as the lats, uh, which is the back of your back, lower part of your back here, your, uh, your quads, and get a good leg drive, belly up, Coming down, it's like, it's like you're pointing your elbows in, coming down, when you're driving down, and when you're driving, pushing up, flare them out. It's simulating breaking the bar. You break the bar, bring it down, and you bend it back and you're coming back up, and that's the proper way to execute the bench.